Hello, this is Andrew Ford, and today we're going to look at using normalization and compression in Adobe Audition. Many times you're given an audio track that has an uneven volume. This can especially happen with webinar recordings when speakers turn their head and bury the distance between themselves and their microphone. Let's take a listen to such a track. The guide is set at the appropriate point, and here we're setting it just posterior to the anterior margin. As you can see from the waveform and from listening, there are parts of this track that are peaking and there are parts that are much too low. First thing I like to do is normalize the audio to negative 0.1 dB. It's good to normalize before you do compression because this sets a zero dB reference point and helps you get more predictable results during compression. You'll also notice that this reigns in some of the peaking on the audio. Next, we'll apply the compressor effect. We'll go to effects, amplitude and compression, and then dynamics. You can see compressor in the middle of this window. The threshold setting is the loudness level at which something gets compressed. If set to negative 10 dB, then everything above this level will be affected and get compressed. The ratio is how much compression occurs. If you set the ratio to 4, for example, then everything above your threshold, which in this case is negative 10 dB, will be cut in a fourth. Another way to look at it, for every 4 dB that the signal is higher than the threshold, it will be compressed down to 1 dB. The attack setting determines the time it takes to compress the signal, and the release is the time it takes to let go of the compression. If you select the checkbox to turn on the compressor effect, you'll be able to listen to the results while you watch the levels. The guide is set at the appropriate point, and here we're setting it just posterior to the anterior margin. The graph here with the red bar shows the compression that's taking place. Hopefully after applying this effect, your areas of loud audio are closer to your average audio volume on the track. Once your audio is of similar loudness, you can use the makeup dial to recapture some of the overall volume to your preferred level. This is a good way to recover the low points of the audio after compressing down the high points. So we'll take one final listen to the before audio. The guide is set at the appropriate point and here we're setting it just posterior to the anterior margin. And now we'll listen to the audio that underwent the compressor effect. The guide is set at the appropriate point, and here we're setting it just posterior to the anterior margin. Hope this quick tutorial helps. Thank you.